Jesus said to his disciples, No one can serve two masters. He will either hate the one and love the other, or he be devoted to one and despite the other. You cannot serve God and Mammon. Therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Look at the birds in the sky. They do not sow or reap. They gather nothing into barns. Yet, your heavenly Father fits them. Are not you more important than they? Can any of you, by worrying, add a single moment to your lifespan? Why are you anxious about Close. Learn from the way the wild flowers grow. They do not work or spin. But I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was clothed like one of them. If God so clothes the, cl the, the grass of the field, which grows today and it is thrown into the oven tomorrow, Will he much more provide for you? Oh, you of little faith. So, do you not worry and say, What are we to eat? Or, What are we to drink? Or, What are we to wear? All these things, the pagans seek. Your heavenly Father knows that you need them all. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be given you besides. Do not worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Sufficient for a day, it is on evil. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Listening to the Gospel. I believe that all of us, if we have a little conscience, should feel that we need to convert. We need to convert to trusting God. And there is nothing better than in this month of the Sacred Heart to remember that Jesus does not say that we should not be busy because He says, He says that we should not be overwhelmed. It is a different verb. You have to, you have to be busy. You have to be occupy, occupy yourself. You have to occupy yourself in working or looking for a job, studying to prepare the future. You have to occupy yourself in making food for you and your family to eat. You have to occupy yourself and it is inevitable that sometimes the occupation makes you worry. Maybe the money does not arrive. You are unemployed or other things. Not always the things that burden you are eco economic. Then you worry. But it is different. The occupation and even the concern that the burden. The burden is when you lack peace. When you have lost confidence. And it is not easy. That is why I say that we have to convert because very often the concern becomes anguish in burden. We do not know what will happen tomorrow, not only from the economy point of view. And you became anguish. You became overwhelmed. The Lord tells you, but if the future is not in your hands, all your anxiety is not going to solve the problem, get busy, even, even worry. In the etymological sense of prior to the occupation, worry, do something prior to the occupation, prepare the occupation, prepare, prepare it, organize it, think, but do not be overwhelmed, do not be overwhelmed. We need to convert to trust. It is a daily effort for different issues. It is not only the economy that burdens us, 
Sometimes it is our health. Sometimes it our children. Sometimes it is the church. Sometimes it is our homeland. Lord, I trust in you. Again and again, I trust, I trust, I trust. Lord, I trust in you. You are God. You love me. You know what I need. Lord, in your hands I place my life. In your hands I place, place my future. In your hands I place the future of my children. The future of my country. You know, Lord, I trust. I abandon myself in you. The future of the church. The future of my children. The future of my country. You know, Lord, I trust. I abandon myself in you. But for that, it takes humility. Once again, humility. As a virtue prior to all virtues. In this case, to trust. If I am not humble, I cannot trust because I believe that I have to solve my problem. I have to solve the problem of my family. I have to solve the problems of my country. And I have to collaborate to solve the problems I have to take care of and even preoccupy myself. Prepare things. I have to organize myself. I have to think. Of course, I have to think. But I do not have to be overwhelmed because I trust in God. But do we have that faith? Do we believe that God exists? Do we believe that God listens to us? Do we believe that God loves us? Lord, let us tell Him with our heart. He is willing to listen to us. Lord, I trust in you. Amen.